Good evening and welcome to the stream. I'm Surf Dude streaming from South Africa and today we're going to do a very quick stream of Minecraft education. And thank you Grippy Gaming for the resub. Thank you Distant Quasar, Bradley and Siberian Husky for the follows. They did a very good stream, so you should check them out. And today we're going to do... We've done the Hour of Code already, Lessons in Good Trouble. And today... We are doing the Hour of Code. But we're going to do it in Maker Blocks and also in... Python. is my character. So let's begin. A tale of two villages. This is a tale of two villages. The farming villages to the east and the fishing villages to the west. Both towns had enough food and neither saw a reason to interact with their neighbor. This led to both towns fearing anyone or anything that was different. Quite a sorry state of affairs. And so the villagers and the illagers continued on the same way they had always had, even as the world changed around them until eventually the changes in their world could no longer be ignored. The villagers could no longer seem to grow enough crops and the illagers found their fish supply dwindling. Neither town knew of any other way to survive and yet they were both too afraid to turn to their neighbor for help. Today, the villagers and the illagers are still struggling with hard times. Perhaps with your help, they can learn to value their differences and find a new way forward together. And here we are. You can see the villager and the illager gates are closed. Let's speak to the caretaker. The caretaker says, you're here. Thank you so much for coming. The villagers need your help. It will be hard work, but you won't have to do it alone. My small friend, the agent, will help you through the power of coding. And however, before you begin, you must Decide how you will communicate with the agent. Choose a coding language from the buttons below. If you're new to coding, I recommend you choose the make code blocks. The caretaker says, however, before you begin, you must decide how you will communicate with the agent. Choose a coding language from the buttons below. If you're new to coding, I recommend I recommend choosing make code blocks. So since we're going to do everything in both, let's start off with the make code blocks. Excellent. You can now learn. Excellent. You can now instruct the agent to perform tasks. Try coding the agent to move four spaces forward to the gold block. Press C or tap the agent icon when you're ready to get started. And 
this is the coding blocks. So in my Twitch channel I also have Pokemon Community Game and there is the coding agent. One, two, three, four blocks. The coding agent will move. So here we have the start and the end of the code or instructions that we're going to give and we're going to we could put this in four times but we are just going to go the quicker route and type four over there. And excellent. I think you two will work well together. What's this? It seems the agent has a gift for you. Open the coding window to accept the gift. Then you can plant it here in the center of the courtyard. So we are going to open the coding window. Press the C button. And we have the start and finish. We are going to pop accept gift in there and execute. Now I have the tree or sapling in my hand and I've caught the rock nuff Pokemon that's pretty cool my Pokemon community is growing. There we plant the tree. The caretaker says let the sapling symbolize the hope and prosperity you may bring to these towns. Now it's time to get to work. But before you go, I want to check one last time. Do you want to continue in make blocks or try out the Python? So let's try out the Python. And the caretaker says, I have set your coding language to Python. So now we are going to redo the steps in Python. Let's remember four steps and move the agent. First we need to learn the basics of moving the agent. For this we'll use the agent dot move and then brackets. The agent dot move function takes one parameter, the direction and valid directions are forward, back, left, right, up and down. So let's see, move the agent forward one block, agent move forward. Move the agent backward one block, agent move back. Move the agent left one block, agent move left, and move the agent right one block, agent move right. We are not going to run that code and here we have let's move the agent to the gold block by using the agent move function four times now you can reset the activity by speaking to the NPC or using the reset world button so we are going to fix this code and control C to copy so now we've got it twice three times and the fourth time let's run the code and see what happens excellent the caretaker says do you think you two I think you two will work together well. What's this? It seems the agent has a gift for you. Open the coding window to accept the gift, then you can plant it here in the center of the courtyard. So let's press C for code. And 
plant the sapling the agent has given you a sapling to commemorate your arrival put the sapling in your hotbar we'll use the player give function player give function has two parameters the item you want and the count the number of items you receive so let's see how it works these are the examples give yourself five stone blocks is player give stone comma five next give yourself three dirt blocks is player give dirt comma three and let's see the activity over here we want to give ourselves the sapling and after we've done that we'll manually plant the sapling so here here we have sapling comma one and let's see if we run this code and we have a problem Problem. We needed the quotation marks, and that looks a whole lot better. Very important to have those quotation marks there. And now, sapling player give. It looks correct. And well done, GG's, we now have the tree. Let's plant the tree there. And the caretaker says, let the sapling symbolize the hope and prosperity you may bring to these towns. Now it's time to get to work. But before you go, I want to check one last time. Do you want to continue in Python or try out the blocks? So this is where we are going to stop the stream because we are going to carry on with this tomorrow. And thank you for watching. Thank you and for supporting my stream. Do the raid. And there we've done the raid, so thank you for supporting me. And there we've done the raid. So thank you everyone for supporting my stream, I really appreciate it. Thank you Sabayrian Husky, Bradley and Dustin Quasar for the latest follows. And keep well everyone, keep happy, keep smiling and have a great weekend.